Hello everyone, welcome to the exterior magazine channel. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe our channel exterior magazine. In this video, more than 100 modern house front design ideas. Choosing your house design is one of the most exciting phases of building a new home. Essentially, the key attributes of a great home include lifeability, functionality, convenience, comfort and style. The layout and the way the space functions are key to a comfortable home. For inspiration and ideas, browse Head Start Home's range of plans including our house and land packages we have a great selection of new home designs and inclusions to suit your family needs and your investment point too if you have young children or are planning on starting a family in the future it's important your home grows with you and retains its functionality and, and comfort for the time frame you intend to stay in it for. Here are some helpful points to consider when choosing the perfect house design for you. One of the biggest differences between traditional and modern homes is the floor plan layout and shape of the house. You can usually tell just by looking at a floor plan if it is traditional or modern style. It's not uncommon for traditional homes to have rooms laid out in a somewhat haphazard, disorganized way. Some spaces look right with a logical progression from one space to another, but then all of the sudden it looks like whoever did the design just took whatever rooms were left over and squeezed them into the remaining gaps in the plane so you end up with the master bedroom near the garage or the powder room on the other side of the house instead of near the living spaces where it is more appropriate but with modern homes you tend to see more intentional organization you see a circulation axis you see symmetry you see rooms located in a logical manner that makes sense. The resultant layout looks straightforward and has a simple geometric form. The floor plan tends to have pure rectilinear spaces and is often organized around a circulation path, spine or connector. One very apparent characteristic of traditional homes is the profile of the front facade and the ends and outs and the exterior walls. The wash and ball of the floor plan at the front walls plays into the roof design of the series of pitched roofs that accentuate the front elevation. This articulation is typically not present in modern homes where you see more geometric volumes of spaces and larger sweeping roofs that encompass many spaces. Modern spaces look simple on plan and have simple forms. Can you create an underlying logic to how spaces are organized? For example, does it make sense to group private spaces together along the west wall? and public spaces along the east or can you create a service or storage zone that is a zone of a space that runs through the entire plan from north to south what you can do to be intentional about the location of your spaces if you have a lot of ins and outs in your plan or angels can you square off some walls can you line up some walls to form a bigger rectangular forms that appear simpler from the exterior can you stick rooms or encompass them under the same roof modern houses have open floor plans where one space flows into the next the main living areas are typically open to each other allowing plenty of natural lights to follow timber in the spaces 
this also allows more space for entertaining because there aren't as many interior walls to define and restrict the space. Of course, you need to make sure the spaces you want to open up are next to each other. If not, you will have to shuffle around your floor plan to allow it. Your designer or engineer can tell you if there are many structural implication of removing walls. Depending on the framing, you may need to add a beam to support the loads above the large open area, but most of the time this design move is well worth the effort. Also make sure your spaces are flexible and adaptable. With open floor plans, your spaces will be used for multiple functions. Modernize your house design and furniture layout that is conceived to multiple activities. Most traditional houses have gable or pitched roofs, while modern homes are characterized by simple modern roof forms and flat roofs. As mentioned above, the push and pull of the floor plan that creates the in and out articulation of the exterior wall plays heavily into the traditional pitched roof design of traditional homes. This pitched roof vocabulary also starts to decate where second floor walls are located. As they, as they interact with the pitched roof profile, so your floor plan starts to form itself simply based on the roof design. With modern homes, however, multiple spaces are housed and one or two continuous roof forms that often can levers beyond the wall. This simplifies the roof, eliminates complexity, and gives you more freedom to get the floor plan right without it affecting the roof as much. If you have a home design with a traditional roof of pitched and gable roofs, you have two choices. The easiest choice, although also the least effective is to keep the traditional roof profile and see if there are other ways to modernize the look of your house exterior. The other option is to story design the roof so that it has a more modern roof design. This is a more involved process and many result in reworking the interior floor plan. But if you're serious about creating a modern home, this should be considered. You will have your work cut out for you, but it's possible. The best strategy is to simplify as many of the roof details as possible, including the eaves, roof edges, roof material and color and gutter profiles. Do you need the roof to extend beyond the face of the wall or can it be flush which will eliminate the fascia and softed board? Do you need to use the traditional case style gutter profile work. How can you simplify the design of the roof venting at the eaves? At the same time, work to.